Knowing your cannon types in the Sea of Thieves can be the difference between winning or sinking in both high and safer seas. If you are new around here, ahoy, my name is Wiz and I'm the Sea of Thieves pirate determined to give you all the information you need to have a cracking adventure on the seas. First up, we have the standard cannibal. You can fire these at enemy ships, whether that be in actual players in high seas or skeleton ships in safer seas. Every time you land a hit in the hull, a hole will appear. You can also damage the wheel, the mast or the capstan with a cannonball, each affecting how the crew can interact with the piece of the ship. For example, if a cannon hits your wheel, you will have to patch it with wood before you can turn it at its original speed. There are also different tiered holes. A tier 1 hole can come from simply grazing the sandbank, bumping into a rock or knocking into something. Whereas if a cannonball hits your ship, you will immediately have a tier 2 hold on your hands. If the same spot gets knocked again, it can become a tier 3. The tiers affect not only the amount of water being let into your ship, but also the rate at the time it takes to repair it with plank wood. Secondly, we have the chain shot. This item is primarily used to take down another ship's mast. In safer seas, this won't be used as a tactic, as you won't be coming up against any real players. However, in the safer seas mode, they will act as extra cannons against enemies. Thirdly, you have your throwables, fire and blunder bombs. You can launch them out of your cannons or you can literally throw them out of your hands. Fire bombs are what they say on the tin, a ball of fire that will set your enemy ablaze. If you're in ship combat, the ship will catch fire, whereas on land they are great against various PvE enemies such as skeletons or ocean crawlers. Blunder bombs however are used to put separation between you and your enemy and they also cause damage to them too. On a ship they can be used to stop a crew from patching a hole or thrown as a form of extra weapon to cause damage to their health. Fourthly, we have the cursed cannons. Green affect the opposing crew directly, whereas purple affects the ship. I will be doing a video on each of the different types in the next few weeks, so subscribe to be notified. There are also special cursed cannons, acquired from the Ghost Fleet World event. Upon defeating the Burning Blade Galleon, a cannibal crate of the damned will be nestled amongst a loot pile. In this special crate lies three different types of cannons, phantoms, flame phantoms and wraiths. Phantoms act as extra cannibals, but they do look like a ghost when fired. Flames act like firebombs and they look the same as phantoms, whereas the wraiths are a screaming ghostly head that when fired at an enemy ship, both player and skeleton, it creates three holes in their hull. They are the equivalent of using a gunpowder keg against someone and will damage your health if you are caught in the attack too. Finally, we have flares and fireworks. Flares are different coloured lights to signal or support you on your adventure. White flares are great for shedding light when you need to find your way, whereas red flares can be used to signal to your crew that danger is on the way. That being said, I never use red flares personally, whereas fireworks can be purchased from the merchant trader and fired from your cannons. They are fantastically fun and you can have your own firework displays from your very own ship. If you have any questions about the cannons mentioned, let me know in the comments.